Another edition of what Brookdale Women's Basketball here on Brookdale TV featuring the Essex County Wolverines and the Brookdale Jersey Blues as a tip is underway. Carissa Reyes and the Brookdale Jersey Blues in control of the tip. Here comes Jada Rogers. The shot is blocked. And here comes Essex County. The starting line is for Essex County. Salma Abuelkir. Mia Martinez, number three. As Mia Martinez shoots a three is off the mark wide right. And here comes Rakaia Mack. Gianna Piccini at the right side. Gives it over to Carissa Reyes. Open for the three ball is short. A rebound by Mia Martinez. It brings over the timeline. Chloe Cassidy over to Martinez. Cassidy, Ania Martinez open for the three ball. On the right wing is no good. And here comes Carissa Reyes, the point guard. Gianna Pacini over to Carissa Reyes. Jasmine Sullivan. And the sharpshooter, that's Jada Rogers. She's off the mark. And Gianna Pacini takes contact and will head to the line for two. The foul will be on Salma Abuelkir. Gianna Pacini misses the first. For all those tuning in, welcome to the broadcast. My name is Dominic Sama. I am here at the corner, the bottom corner, the bottom right corner of the court. As you'll probably see me as the camera tilts back to the right side throughout the game. Essex with the ball on the left side of the court. You see there, number five, Jakira Kaur is blocked away by Rakaia Mack. And here comes Carissa Reyes over to Gianna Pacini, back to Reyes. Looks to go inside, puts up the layup, no good. Abu Elkir, the rebound. The freshman, Danella native, grabbing the board for the Wolverines. The Wolverines 7-0 on the season. Number three, Mia Martinez putting it up, no good. Rakaia Mack, another rebound, and stolen away by Ania Martinez. The shot is no good for Essex, as here comes Jada Rogers, a long branch native, putting it up. It's gonna be called for a charge. That'll go back to the Essex Wolverines. At the point is number three, Mia Martinez. Chloe Cassidy over to Mia Martinez. Shakira Kaur thought about a shot and all the way back to the other side is Ania Martinez. And now Chloe Cassidy shoots the three and bangs it home from the top of the key. And the Wolverines take the lead three to one with 7.25 left in the first quarter. Jada Rogers, the response, no good, it's short. And a rebound almost made by Rakaia Mack. It was saved by Mack, but Wolverines took back possession. Mia Martinez with it. Gives over to Jakira Cora. And picked away by Mack, and will stay with Essex. Mia Martinez, the guard for the Wolverines, giving it over to Ania Martinez. Chloe Cassidy putting it up, call for steps. And we'll go back to the Jersey Blues. The Jersey Blues coming off a hard fought 63 to 60 loss against currently now 10 and 0. Rowan Community College of South Jersey, Gloucester. They were originally down by 12 in the first half, but when I came in for the second half of play with Brian Goutsworth for that broadcast, they came back and made the game a little bit closer. As you saw there, Gianna Pacini laying it in 
to tie the game at three. And another shot by Chloe Cassidy off the mark. And a pass by Puccini is misfired. And a timeout will be called by the Wolverines by the head coach, Anthony Green. And it will be a full timeout. So we'll be right back here on Brookdale TV. And we are back, the Essex County College Wolverines visiting the Jersey Blues of Brookdale. Essex County will be taking possession with 6.07 left in the first quarter of play. And we see number five, Jakira Kaur, at the top of the key, takes a chance from the top and no good. Rebound by the point guard, Carissa Reyes. The Jersey City native giving it over to Gianna Pacini, who has been doing it all for the Jersey Blues. She just recently got a lay-in. Has two of the first three points for Brookdale. Carissa Reyes called for steps before she even goes anywhere else. And we'll go back to Essex County, based out of Newark, New Jersey. Again, Essex County, seven and two overall, four and one in league play. Rakaia Mack looking to go inside. And stolen away by Jakira Kaur. Nice steal there by Kaur. Chloe Cassidy giving it over. And back to Cassidy for another three ball. This one is short off the left wing. Jakia Kaur makes the three from the top of the key. She was wide open there, makes a six to three ball game with just under five minutes left in this first quarter. Carissa Reyes over to Gianna Pacini. She was open for a second there. Here's Reyes looking for a screen from Jasmine Sullivan. Pacini to Reyes and stolen away. And back it goes with Essex. As you see there, Salma Abuelkir. Misses the shot there. Gianna Pacini puts up the shot. And it's going to be a foul on the floor. It's going to be on Chloe Cassidy, the 5'4 Danellan native. A freshman is called for the foul as Pacini will go to the line for two. And to note, the Wolverines, the entire Wolverines squad is all freshmen and they are 7 to 2 in overall record. You got Pacini at the line. Going for two, she got, she netted 15 points along with Jada Rogers, both getting 15 apiece in their last outing against Rowan of Gloucester, which transpired to be a 63 to 60 loss. Goes one out of two at the line, trims the Brookdale trail down to two. Mia Martinez over to a wide open. Ania Martinez in and out. And Salma Abuel here misses the putback. And the possession will stay with Essex. And there is Mia Martinez off the mark with the three ball.
little technical difficulties there. 20, 25 seconds left on the shot clock. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Jakira Koar over to Mia Martinez. And a lay-in shot, count it, and a foul. That's Ania Martinez, the 5'7 freshman point guard from Phillipsburg. And to note, this entire Essex team, this entire Wolverine squad is all freshmen. Number 13, Shakira Hernandez checks in. She's a 5'8 Belleville native. Belleville right next to Newark. Jasmine Sullivan over to Gianna Piccini. Looking to go inside, putting it up, and almost got the shot, but a foul is called. It's gonna be on number 22, Camille Arias. And Piccini will go back to the line for two. Puts it up, is no good. Puccini puts it up and is good. And checking in for Puccini will be Carissa Reyes. Chloe Cassidy giving it over to number 22, Camille Arias. Shakira Kaur. And a shot there, a three ball by Jakira Kowar, 5'7", guard from Jersey City. And the score is now 14 to seven. Essex on top, Rakaia Mack, the three ball no good. And Jasmine Sullivan, the shot no good, but Rakaia Mack puts it up. Also no good, but a foul this time is called. And that's going to be on Jakira Kowar. Mac goes to the line for two. And she, mi she misses the first. and makes the second. Chloe Cassidy tasked to run the point for the Wolverines. Shakira Kohar with all the fancy moves. There's gonna be a foul called on Essex, so we'll go back to Brookdale. That was going to be on 13, Shakira Hernandez. That is her second of the game. And Natasha Onyango putting up the shot. No good. And here comes Chloe Cassidy. Brings over the timeline. Cassidy over to Shakira Kaur. Another three. This one is short and a rebound by Rakaia Mack. Carissa Reyes, and a lay-in by Jada Rogers puts it in to shrink the Essex lead down to four. 14 to 10, Wolverines over the Jersey Blues. And a nice shot there, look at that nice shot by Salma Abuelkhir, the six foot freshman forward from Donellan, New Jersey, with a nice turnaround jumper, it makes it 16 to 10. Jada Rogers, the response from the land of three is no good off the back iron. And it will stay with Brookdale. Oh, 
Micaiah Max set to inbound from under the basket. Jada Rogers over to Carissa Reyes, thought about the shot. Micaiah Mack also thought about the shot. And Jada Rogers over to Vera Agyaman, strong to the bucket. Shot clock is off. We are closing in at 10 seconds left till the end of this first quarter of play. And a shot by Jakira Kowar off the mark. And that will be the end of the first quarter. The Essex County Wolverines with a 16 to 12 lead over the Brookdale Jersey Blues. We'll be right back in just a quick minute. Stay with us here on Brookdale TV. My name is Carissa Reyes. I'm from Jersey City. I graduated from Henry Snyder High School. I'm a point guard here at Brookdale. I chose Brookdale because it has a great criminal justice program and a nice campus. Hello, my name is Ella Case. I am a guard on the team. I am from Seagirt, New Jersey, and I graduated from Hawthorne Christian Academy. My major is early childhood development, special education, and I chose Brookdale because it's close to home and it has a great basketball program. My name is Gianna Pacini. I'm from Keyport. I went to Keyport High School. My position is a guard. Um, I'm majoring in psychology and I came to Brookdale because it's close to home and to play basketball. Hi, I'm Rakaya Mack. I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. I came from Piscataway High School. I'm a guard. I came to Brookdale to further the start of my academic and basketball career, and I study in psychology. Hi, my name is Jada Rogers. I'm from Long Branch. I went to Long Branch High School. I'm a shooting guard, and I attended Brookdale because I think it's a great start to my academic career as well as my athletic career. Hello, my name is Natasha Onyango, and I come from Union County Point V High School. I play forward. The main reason as to why I chose Brookdale is because Brookdale is the best fit for my major health science. Hello, my name is Jasmine Sullivan. I'm from Hillside, New Jersey. I graduated from Hillside High School. I play forward on the basketball team, and I chose Brookdale because I want to start with my associates and work my way up to a master's. Hi, my name is Vera Ajman. I am from Howell, New Jersey. I graduated at Howell High School. I am a criminal justice major at Brookdale Community College. The reason why I chose to come to Brookdale is because I am going for my associate's degree and also it's a great experience to play college basketball at the level I'm playing. And we are back 16 to 12, just starting the second quarter of play. My name is Dominic Sama. I'm always glad to be here with you along with Ian Mulhern behind the camera providing you the coverage. Also with Sergey Kornienko and my good friend Dan at the control room bringing to you coverage of Brookdale men's and women's basketball here on Brookdale TV. As Essex County set to inbound there up 16 to 12 over the Brookdale Jersey Blues just 25 seconds in to the second quarter of play. And a nice steal by Rakaya Mack. She goes inside, gets over to Jada Rodriguez, and the lay-in doesn't go in. A rebound by Jakira Kowar. And Jakira Kowar over to Chloe Cassidy. Salma Abuel here. Chloe Cassidy is hacked and fouled by Jada Rogers. That'll be her second of the game. Koar over to Mia Martinez and the shot by Abu here, no good. Mia Martinez goes up. And the possession will go to the Jersey Blues. Carissa Reyes bringing it down court for Brookdale. Gianna Pacini was originally open. The possession was lost. So we'll go to the possession of the ladies in the gold jerseys, the Essex County Wolverines. And 
Shakira Kohar with the recovery. Three ball, no good. Salma Abu Akhir fights for the basketball. And we'll go down with the Jersey Blues. Possession will go back to the Essex County Wolverines. We're closing in at eight minutes left in this first half of play. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Chloe Cassidy back over to Jakira Kohar, doing it all for the Wolverines early in this matchup. Chloe Cassidy back over to Jakira Kohar for the three ball is no good. And Rakaya Mack picked away from behind and a fight for the ball. A foul will be called. And it'll be on Jada Rogers. That is her third of the game. She is already in foul trouble. Early in this matchup, Carissa Reyes will check in for her with 7.41 to go. Jakira Kaur. We'll give it over to Chloe Cassidy. Core. And the pass is picked away by Rakaya Mack. She'll look to go inside. Actually, she'll take the three ball and is off the mark. And a rebound by Camille Arias. A nice rebound by Arias as it will go back to the Essex County Wolverines. About three minutes in, and no score has been made by either team. Koar, we're gonna go inside. And a timeout will be called by the Essex County Wolverines. That means we'll take another timeout here. Nine seconds left on the shot clock, 6.55 left in the first half of play. We'll be right back, stay with us here on Brookdale TV. Still because it has a great criminal justice program and a nice campus. Hello, my name is Natasha Onyango, and I come from Union County Point Fee High School. I play Ford. The main reason as to why I chose Brookdale is because Brookdale is the best fit for my major health science. My name is Gianna Pacini. I'm from Keyport. I went to Keyport High School. My position is a guard. Um, I'm majoring in psychology, and I came to Brookdale because it's close to home and to play basketball. Hi, my name is Jada Rogers. I'm from Long Branch. I went to Long Branch High School. I'm a shooting guard, and I attended Brookdale because I think it's a great start to my academic career as well as my athletic career. Hello, my name is Jasmine Sullivan. I'm from Hillside, New Jersey. I graduated from Hillside High School. I play forward on the basketball team, and I chose Brookdale because I want to start with my associates and work my way up to a master's. Hi, I'm Rakaya Mack. I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. 6.55 left in this matchup. Check that in this first half of play. As you see there, Jakira Kowar with a three ball to make it 19 to 12. Essex County on top of the Brookdale Jersey Blues. Carissa Reyes on the top of the key, giving it over to Gianna Pacini. Back to Reyes, and now Pacini thought about it, gave it back over to Reyes. Rakaya Mack with it on the left wing. Reyes will take the three ball and net it home. Six and a half to go in this first half of play and it's 19 to 15, Essex on top. Shakira Kohar open again for the three ball and hits it again. Back to a seven point lead for the Wolverines. Gianna Pacini back over to Reyes. Mack to Sullivan. Gianna Pacini. And Carissa Reyes putting it up and going inside strong to the bucket. And trims the Essex lead back down to five. And Brookdale looking to do a full court press. A 
And the shot by Ania Martinez is no good. Carissa Reyes goes inside, deflected by Ania Martinez. Reyes has Bacini right behind her. And Carissa Reyes will set up a play for the Jersey Blues. Five seconds on the shot clock. And Rakaia Mack just missed it wide left. With 5.02 left, Essex County on top. Chloe Cassidy set to inbound to Mia Martinez. Mia Martinez goes over to Chloe Cassidy. Back to Martinez. Chloe Cassidy going back and forth from now. Ania Martinez over to Mia Martinez. Deflected away by Jasmine Sullivan and will stay in the possession of Essex County. Salma El here, and Chloe Cassidy steps back for the three ball off the back iron and a rebound by Gianna Pacini. Carissa Reyes looking to go inside and loses the handle and will stay in the possession of Brookdale. Kaya Max set to inbound. Gives it over to Jasmine Sullivan. Carissa Reyes. And Gianna Pacini off the back iron from the land of three. And a foul is going to be called on Carissa Reyes. And here comes M Mia Martinez. Salma Abuel here. The shot, no good. Blocked away by Onyango. Carissa Reyes almost bumped into the ref there. And the ball almost stolen away by Chloe Cassidy. And nice land there by Jasmine Sullivan going in to trim the lead to three. 22 to 19, Wolverines over the Jersey Blues. We're at three and a half left to go until halftime, and the three ball by Mia Martinez is wide right. Rakaia Mack going inside, putting it up. Count the basket and the foul for Rakaia Mack. And she'll go to the charity stripe to convert the three point play. Rakaia Mack averaging 10 points a game, 56% free throw shooter. And she'll look to tie this game up at 22. And is short on the free throw. Mia Martinez. Knocked away and it will go back to the Jersey Blues. And Rakaia Mack inbounds it to Carissa Reyes. Timeout will be called by Brookdale. It will be a 30 second timeout. So we'll be right back with just a few messages here on Brookdale TV, 21-22, Essex on top. And I study in psychology. Hi, my name is Vera Ajman. I am from Howell, New Jersey. I graduated at Howell High School. I am a criminal justice major at Brookdale Community College. The reason why I chose to come to Brookdale is because I am going for my associate's degree. And also, it's a great experience to play college basketball at the level I'm playing. Hello, my name is Ellie Case. I am a guard on the team. I am from Seagirt, New Jersey, and I graduated from Hawthorne Christian Academy. 
My major is early childhood development, special education, and I chose Brookdale because it's close to home and it has a great basketball program. What's up guys, this is Dave. Not too far out of a score, not too big of a deficit for the Brookdale Jersey Blues as they are only down by one point, 21-22 against the visiting Essex County College Wolverines. Brookdale no stranger to giving teams with pretty good records a run for their money. It's down 22-21 and that might change here. Gianna Pacini was off the mark with the three ball. Brookdale lost by only three to a 10-0 Rowan College of South Jersey Gloucester team just last Thursday. Brian Gowser and I brought, to, brought that broadcast to you at home. We saw there a land by Rakaia Mack. And another steal by Rakaia Mack there. Gives a Brookdale lead. Up by one, 23-22 with 2.25 left in the first half of play. Foul beyond number 22, Camille Arias. The 5'4", freshman guard from Halladin, New Jersey. Again, Essex at seven and two overall. Four and one in league play. And an all freshman squad, as you see there. Mia Martinez with the steal. And she kicks it out to Jakira Koar, who has been a hot hand for the Wolverines. No good there. Jasmine Sullivan with the rebound. And all the way at the other end, Gianna Pacini is hacked and fouled. One fifty-eight to go. As Gianna Pagini will go to the line for another two shots at the free throw line. Gianna Pagini averaging 11.9 .9 points a game along with Carissa Reyes equally averaging 11.9 .9 a game. Pacini averages 58.3% from the free throw line. The problem with the shot clock. As Pacini misses the first off the back iron. And off the back iron again. Pacini 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Number 14, Ania Martinez bringing it up. And Brookdale doing it all uh, full court press. As Salma Abuakir will put up a reverse layup is no good. And the possession will stay with the Essex County Wolverines. Jakira Koar the best player, the leading scorer, averaging 23.1 points per game. Gets the possession of the ball there, gives it over to Ania Martinez, and back to Koar, who takes the three ball and hits it again. Koar, a hot hand from the land of three, makes it 25-23, Wolverines over the Jersey Blues. And Jasmine Sullivan is fouled. It'll be on Coar. One nineteen to go in this first half of play. Essex with a two point lead. Carissa Reyes over to Gianna Pacini. Back to Reyes. Jasmine Sullivan. As a held ball and possession will go to the Wolverines. And Mia Martinez bringing it down for the Essex County Wolverines. 
Back to Mia Martinez at the top of the key. Salma Aldo here puts up the jumper and swishes it home. A pretty jumper there by Salma Abuakir, the six foot forward from Danella, New Jersey. Another steal by Mia Martinez. And here comes Ania Martinez. There may or may not be a relation there, there by the two Martinez, Mia Martinez and Ania Martinez. Both freshmen, both 5'7", both point guards, and both from Phillipsburg on the other corner of the state. Martinez will go for two at the line and will hit the first. Gives Essex a five point lead with 37.3 to go. And she'll miss the second. Carissa Reyes is called for steps as she takes it over the timeline. It'll go back to Essex. Thirty-two point six to go in this first half of play. Mia Martinez over to Ania Martinez. And Ania Martinez misses that floater. And the whistle will be called as a foul on Salma Abuer here, the six footer from Denellen. <coughs> The Wolverines now over the limit, so that will land Rikaya Mack at the line for a pair. Mack will make the first at the line. And she'll switch to the second. A one possession game with the Essex County Wolverines in favor. As Brookdale takes a steal, that's Rakaya Mack with a steal. And a step back three by Carissa Reyes is airmailed with five seconds left in the first half. Brookdale keeping that full court press, three seconds left. Shakira Kowar open for the three ball and air balls it. And that will end the first half of play. Essex on top, 28-25. We'll be right back with these messages here on Brookdale TV. My name is Carissa Reyes. I'm from Jersey City. I graduated from Henry Snyder High School. I'm a point guard here at Brookdale. I chose Brookdale because it has a great criminal justice program and a nice campus. Hello, my name is Ella Case. I am a guard on the team. I am from Seagirt, New Jersey, and I graduated from Hawthorne Christian Academy. My major is Early Childhood Development, Special Education, and I chose Brookdale because it's close to home and it has a great basketball program. My name is Gianna Pacini. I'm from Keyport. I went to Keyport High School. My position is a guard. Um, I'm majoring in psychology and I came to Brookdale because it's close to home and to play basketball. Hi, I'm Rakaya Mack. I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. I came from Piscataway High School. I'm a guard. I came to Brookdale to further the start of my academic and basketball career and I study in psychology. Hi, my name is Jada Rogers. I'm from Long Branch. I went to Long Branch High School. I'm a shooting guard and I attended Brookdale because I think it's a great start to my academic career as well as my athletic career. Hello, my name is Natasha Onyango, and I come from Union County Point View High School. I play forward. The main reason as to why I chose Brookdale is because Brookdale is the best fit for my major health science. Hello, my name is Jasmine Sullivan. I'm from Hillside, New Jersey. I graduated from Hillside High School. I play forward on the basketball team, and I chose Brookdale because I want to start with my associates and work my way up to a master's. 
Hi, my name is Vera Ajman. I am from Howell, New Jersey. I graduated at Howell High School. I am a criminal justice major at Brookdale Community College. The reason why I chose to come to Brookdale is because I am going for my associate's degree and also it's a great experience to play college basketball at the level I'm playing. And we are back in the second half of play. Brookdale hosting the Essex County Wolverines. Gianna Pacini short with a three ball. And Rakaia Mack, the offensive rebound over to Jada Rogers, who's been pretty cold from the land of three. And the ball goes out of bounds and it will be a foul. And it's gonna be on Jasmine Sullivan. That's her first personal foul, the first team foul on Brookdale. And Salma, Salma Albuev here, the six foot freshman small forward from Donella, New Jersey, off the mark with that shot. Gianna Pacini kicks it out. Jada Rogers, another try from the top of the key, no good. Rakaia Mack brings it back. There's Jasmine Sullivan going inside, putting it up is strong. Carissa Reyes looks to bring it back. Tries to kick it out, double teamed. There's Rakaia Mack over to Puccini. The open three ball is short. And it will go the other way, the Essex County way. It'll be a full court trap initiated by the Jersey Blues. Chloe Cassidy with it. Against Carissa Reyes, kicks it out. Camille Arias. And Jakira Kaur, the three ball is wide right. And we'll stay with Essex County. Chloe Cassidy over to Jakira Kaur. And Mia Martinez puts up the shot, no good. Rebound by Jasmine Sullivan. And here comes Rakaia Mack, Carissa Reyes, Jasmine Sullivan. Jada Rogers with the three ball is short. Ice cold from the three point line. Mia Martinez set to bring it up. Chloe Cassidy. Shakira Kaur, she's, she's been a hot hand for the Wolverines. There's Chloe Cassidy in and out on that three ball. Two and a half minutes in and no score. I stand corrected, Jasmine Sullivan lays it in for Brookdale. A one point lead in favor of Essex. Chloe Cassidy wide open, the NBA range three. No good. Carissa Reyes over to Jada Rogers, wide open and switches the three ball from the left corner. And Brookdale takes the lead up by two, 30 to 28. Mia Martinez. And now Camille Arias puts up the floaters, no good. Jasmine Sullivan, the rebound, and Rakaia Mack with it. Slices through the defense, Brookdale has numbers. Carissa Reyes, the layup is strong. It will stay with Essex. Check that, it will stay with the Jersey Blues. Chloe Cassidy sets to inbound. Jasmine Sullivan puts it up, no good. A rebound by Ania Martinez, and here comes Jakira Kowar, and get the basket and the foul for Jakira Kowar. 
not only the hothead from the land of three, but Jakira Koar makes that shot and gets fouled. So she'll have a chance to convert from the charity strike. Core converts to make it 31 to 30. Essex on top of the Jersey Blues. Piccini shoots the three ball is short and a rebound by Rakaia Mack who recovers and the lead goes back to Brookdale. 32 to 31, six minutes left. Camille Arias thought about the shot is over to Mia Martinez. Picks it out. There's a Nia Martinez rattles in the three ball. 34, 32, just under six minutes left. Jada Rogers thought about the shot. And now she'll take it after a kickback from Carissa Reyes. Mia Martinez at the top of the key. Kicking it over. Jakira Kaur off the mark of the three ball. And a save by Camille Arias. Back now with 5.15 left in the third quarter. And a nice shot there by Salma Abuelkir. Makes the Essex lead. 36 to 32. Brookdale on, check that Essex on top, and a shot by Jada Rogers, no good. There'll be a jump ball possession to Essex. Mia Martinez running the floor for the Wolverines. Mia Martinez at the baseline, kicking it out. The leading scorer, Jakira Kaur, 23 points per game, looking to get the ball back and takes the shot. The top of the key is short, and a rebound by Mia Martinez. It'll be a held ball possession going back to the Jersey Blues. Again, Brookdale coming off a 63 to 60 loss against the 10 and 0 Rowan Community College, South Jersey Gloucester Roadrunners. You saw there a travel on Carissa Reyes going back to the Essex Wolverines. They have a four point lead and a wide open, nice pass from Mia Martinez over to Ania Martinez, but she couldn't convert the lay-in with 4.15 left. There's anyone tuning in right now. Welcome aboard to the broadcast. My name is Dominic Sama. And in tonight's two games, tonight's doubleheader, I am your lone wolf announcer, as you saw there. Number five, Jakira Kowar, the hot hand for Essex making another three ball, making it 39-32. The Wolverines over the Jersey Blues of Brookdale. Jasmine Sullivan looking to pass it out. Here comes Rakaia Mack going back inside, putting it up and laying it in. And along with me here today is Ian Mulhern, the guy providing to you the camera coverage behind the camera in the skybox here in the Brookdale Recreation Center. A little change of scenery from the Robert J. Collins Arena where an event has been going on all day in the arena. So we moved the game at the athletics uh, department, moved the game here into the B Rec Center as they call it. 
Yep. There will be another game after this, a men's basketball game. The Brookdale men's basketball team will be hosting the Bergen Community College Bulldogs tip-off slated to be at 7 p.m. Salma al here. The shot is no good for her from the baseline. Jada Rogers kicks it over to Carissa Reyes and back to Rogers for a corner three is strong. And a rebound by Jakira Kaur. Nia Martinez goes over to Kaur. And Ania Martinez shoots the three ball and hits it over Jasmine Sullivan and makes it 42-34. And that means Rich Brunson will call a timeout. He will talk it over with his brain trust with 2.16 left in the third quarter, 42-34 Essex County on top. We'll be right back here on Brookdale TV. 2.16 left in the third quarter. Brookdale trailing the Essex County Wolverines, 42-34. As the possession was lost by Rakaia Mack. So we'll go back to the Wolverines. Mia Martinez kicks it over to Ania Martinez. Mia Martinez, the point guard, over to the leading scorer, Jakira Kaur. And Ania Martinez over to Salma Abuakir. Airballs it, but a nice save by Ania Martinez off of Gianna Pacini's foot will stay with the Essex County Wolverines. Ania Martinez sets an inbound. And now Mia Martinez, the three ball is strong. The shot clock expires and a foul will be called on Jasmine Sullivan. It'll be her second of the game, team's third. Mia Martinez set to inbound. Over to Mia Martinez who gets blocked away. And here comes Carissa Reyes toward the other end for Brookdale. Jasmine Sullivan coast to coast with the lay-in. And the lead is down to six for Essex. And Salma Albuquerque here. Misses the lay-in there. Jada Rogers over to Rakaia Mack. Almost lost control of the handle. Falls back and it's going to be a foul. It's going to be on number 14, Ania Martinez. Martinez guilty of the call. That is her second of the game. And the first on the Wolverines in the third quarter. Carissa Reyes over to Gianna Pacini. Under a minute left in the third quarter. Jada Rogers, the sharpshooter for Brookdale, has been pretty cold throughout this game, has only made one three ball in tonight's matchup. As Carissa Reyes sets up a play from the top of the key, guarded by the leading scorer for Essex, Jakira Kaur who will be called for the reach-in foul. 33.5 to go. Carissa Reyes with it. And a stoppage of play. Looks to be a problem with a shot clock. Referee is pointing at the shot clock. Shot 
Jasmine Sullivan was looking to have her teammates huddle up for a quick second while the referees huddled up and spoke. But it looks like everything is resolved. Carissa Reyes with the possession and picked away by Ania Martinez. And here comes Shakira Kaur, who almost gets blocked from behind by Dorkaya Mack. And the shot by Camille Arias is no good. And Shakira Kaur will hold it for the last shot. Seven seconds and counting. And Kaur. And Ania Martinez puts up the shot and no good. And that is the end of the third quarter. Essex holding a six-point lead, 42-36 over the Brookdale Jersey Blues. We'll be right back. Stay with us for one more quarter here on Brookdale TV. And we are back for the fourth quarter of play, the final quarter of this matchup. The six and four Brookdale Jersey Blues hosting the seven and two and very young Essex County College Wolverines. Nia Martinez giving it over to Ania Martinez, who was thinking about pulling up with no one defending her, but Jasmine Sullivan took care of that. Shakira Kowar over back to Ania Martinez. Her shot is no good. And a steal by Essex. Mia Martinez puts up the lay-in, no good, and a rebound by Carissa Reyes. She rips it down. And taken away again by Essex. And here we, here's Ania Martinez, and she'll lay it in this time to make it 44-36. Great defense, stifling defense by the Essex County College Wolverines in that sequence. Jada Rogers, and now Carissa Reyes with it. Her pass to Jada Rogers was tipped and back to Reyes. Sullivan. And her pass was deflected and stolen by Mia Martinez. Camille Arias blocked from behind by Jasmine Sullivan. And it will go back to the Jersey Blues. Stifling defense by the Essex County College Wolverines. Probably, explain, probably explains why they have a seven and two overall record and a four and one region 19 record. Gianna Pacini, the corner three, switches it home. I'm going to correct that. That is a long two-pointer, so it will be 44 to 38, Essex on top. The reach and foul will be called on Carissa Reyes. <laughs> 44 38, Essex over the Jersey Blues. Mia Martinez over to Jakira Kowar and it's stolen by Jasmine Sullivan. Jada Rogers missed the shot, but Sullivan was blocked and fouled. Foul will be on the floor. It will stay with Brookdale. And stolen away by Shakira Kohar. She goes in, puts it up. The spinning layup is no good. There's a held ball possession going to Brookdale. Carissa Reyes, the point guard for the Jersey Blues, bringing it up. Goes over to Jada Rogers, who puts it up. And the three-pointer is strong. And the possession is tipped away. It'll go 
back to Essex. Nia Martinez gets over to Nia Martinez. Seems to be an illegal screen on Essex. Mia Martinez disagrees with the call. That is her first of the game. And a timeout will be called on the floor. So we'll be right back. Just a few messages here. Don't go anywhere. 4438 Essex County on top here on Brookdale TV. 4438. The Essex County Wolverines on top of the Brookdale Jersey Blues. A rather close matchup between another pretty good Region 19 women's basketball team. And the Brookdale Jersey Blues here bringing it up. Carissa Reyes running the ball. Jada Rogers over to Marissa Reyes and over to Jasmine Sullivan, but it's stolen. Ania Martinez with the possession, guarded by Jada Rogers. Salma Albor here to Chloe Cassidy. Ania Martinez and a three ball by Jakira Kowar, the leading scorer, 23 points per game. Jakira Kowar, a leading scorer doing what a leading scorer does. Shakira making that shot and making it 47-38. Essex with a nine point lead over the Jersey Blues. A bounce pass by Gianna Pacini. Will be a held ball possession going back to the Essex County Wolverines. And a shot by Salma Albuquerque. here. Here's an air ball. Chloe Cassidy over to Shakira Kaur. Ania Martinez. And Chloe Cassidy. Chloe Cassidy putting it up and no good. And the Jersey City native, Carissa Reyes, bringing it up for the Jersey Blues. She had Pacini. Wide open, gives over to Reyes and kicks over to the sharpshooter. Jada Rogers puts it up and makes the three ball to shrink the Wolverine lead down to six. Mia Martinez kicks over to Salma Albuquerque. And Jakira Kowar, another three ball. She is hot from the land of three. Shakira Kowar doing it all for the Essex County Wolverines. 23 points per game. There's a good reason for that. As you see there, for Kaya Mack making the land to make it 50 to 43. Essex still on top. Uh, nice move by Mia Martinez. Layup no good though. And I mean, from my angle, I could have easily seen that Jada Rogers stepping out of bounds and giving it right back to the Essex County Wolverines. Chloe Cassidy bringing it up to the top of the key, defended by Gianna Pacini. There's going to be a foul on the floor. That's Jasmine Sullivan guilty of the call. Her third personal foul and the second team foul. Salma of work here over to Chloe Cassie. Thought about an NBA range three, goes inside, puts it up, hacked by Jasmine Sullivan, and will go to the line for two. 
Sullivan's at four fouls now for the Jersey Blues. Chloe Cassidy sets a shoot two at the line. Makes the first. Chloe Cassidy makes them both from the line. Jada Rogers over to Jasmine Sullivan is stolen away by Jakira Kowar. Kowar averaging 23.1 points per game. And Salma Albuerk here makes the shot. A pretty jumper from inside the paint to strengthen the Wolverine lead up to 11. 54 to 43. 340 left in regulation. Gianna Pacini putting up the three ball. No good. And over the back foul will be called on Chloe Cassidy. It will stay with the Brookdale Jersey Blues. Salma Albuerk here. She averages 10 per points per game for the Wolverines. Right behind, right behind Jakira Kaur, who again averages 23.1. As you see there, Kaur with the possession again. Tries to pass it over to Camille Arias and taken away by Jada Rogers. And her pass deflected away by Camille Arias. Jasmine Sullivan putting it up. No good, and a rebound by Abu Kir. Mia Martinez. Kira Kaur going over to Ania Martinez. Camille Arias putting up the three ball, no good. Arias with the rebound. Looking to hold the ball and kill the time. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. The floater by Camille Arias is no good. Tipped away by Jasmine Sullivan and will stay with the Essex County Wolverines. Wolverines still up by 11 with two and a half to go in regulation. And a nice pass from Ania Martinez over to Salma Albuquer. 13 points for Salma Albuquer. 13 point differential in the game. Check that, 56-43. Essex on top of the Jersey Blues. Closing out two minutes left. Shakira Kowar looking to hold the ball. And a timeout will be called by Essex. And we'll be right back here on Brookdale TV. Two minutes left and a 13 point lead. One fifty nine left in this matchup, fifty six to forty three. The Essex County Wolverines strengthening this lead throughout this entire fourth quarter. Jakira Kowar, the leading scorer, twenty three point one points per game, number five in the gold. She has possession of the ball right now and gets stolen away, picked away, but a shot clock violation on the Wolverines, so it will go to the Jersey Blues. 
the Wolverines at 7-2 on the season, looking to be 8-2 with this win against Brookdale. If they can prevent Brookdale from scoring 13 straight points in the next 100 seconds. Jasmine Sullivan over to Jada Rogers. She's only made two threes this entire matchup. As we are at 90 seconds, eight, 90, check that, 89 seconds left in this game. 129 to go. And Jada Rogers puts up another three ball. No good, and a rebound by Carissa Reyes. And here comes the Wolverines. Ania Martinez against Jasmine Sullivan. And Martinez in traffic gets fouled. We are at a minute left. And Ania Martinez will go to the line for two. The 5'7 native out of Phillipsburg, New Jersey, at the line for two. And she makes the first. Martinez, a 65.4% free throw shooter, and averages 9.2 points per game. Makes both from the free throw line. A 15 point lead for the Wolverines. And this game is all but put away for Essex on their way to eight and two on the season. 47 seconds left in this matchup. Mia Martinez going inside, putting it up and called. It's a block and foul. This is going to be on Carissa Reyes. Check that, Jasmine Sullivan, she's at Jasmine Sullivan has fouled out with five fouls. Thirty-nine seconds left. The shot is no good. You gotta focus on the game, bro. Mia Martinez misses both from the free throw line. Natasha Onyango is stolen away by Mia Martinez. And it'll be a held ball possession staying with the Jersey Blues. A little stoppage of play here. 32.1 left in this matchup. And they change the stock clock to 24 seconds. Did you get the press? And it looks like, it looks like a foul was called on Brookdale and it will stay, it will go the way of Essex County. 26.7 seconds left. This game is basically over. Shot clock is off. And Ella Case takes a steal and takes a tumble, gets stolen away. And Mia Martinez will dribble it out. 10 seconds to go. And this game is over. 58 to 43 is your final score. Essex County triumphs and, move and advances to eight and two on the season. Brookdale down to six and five on the season, four and three in league play.